today I decided that I would sit down and film the second part to my Texas vlog. Um, I The last two days we were in Houston, I didn't exactly vlog that much just because we were just kind of exploring, um, enjoying each other's company and shopping and just kind of chill things. Not really fun to vlog and I was kind of living in the moment and forgot to pull out the camera. So it, to make up for it since I did announce in my second one that there would be, or the first one, that there would be a second part, I decided that I would sit down, show you what I bought on the shopping day, um, kind of talk to you more about our exploring downtown, and also insert all of the pictures from our trip at the end of this video. So, um, it might not be too interesting to you, and I'm sorry if it's not, but I really want to keep these for memory's sakes, and I also just want to not not make a video since I promised one in the first one. So I did take a single clip in the morning before we went shopping on Wednesday, so I will insert, or insert that here so that way you can kind of get an understanding of what we were doing that day. Good morning, we are, um, this is the second part of this video. Um, the first part was we did indoor skydiving and segwaying, which was really fun. And today is going to be a little bit more of a chill day. We are going shopping at an outlet mall. And I'm really tired and I'm wearing the same jacket. I've worn the same jacket for like three days in a row, but it's okay. Um, so yeah. Peace. Okay, so now that you kind of have the gist that um, we went shopping at an outlet mall, um, I'll do a little bit of a haul. I didn't buy too many things. I really didn't spend that much money in Houston in general. So we went into the Under Armour store and um, tried to find some sweatpants. And I ended up finding these ones. They are just gray and they're very thick and soft. Like, they're like, I don't even know how to explain the inside. But they are so warm. I wore these on our way home um, from the air, like, at the airport. And I was sweating the entire time. <laughs> so, but they're good for the climate I'm in right now. Um, they will be great for school, whether it's just to hang around in my dorm or even wear them to class. So, and also something that I didn't realize, they have these little pulls and you can actually cinch the ankles, which is great because I have very short legs and sometimes they drag in the puddles. Next, we went into Gap and um, I think Gap gets a bad rap sometimes, but I love it and um, this sweatshirt I got, uh, it's just a light blue color. Sorry if the lighting changed. I don't know if it did, but I kind of feel like it did, so sorry, but I'm trying to use natural lighting as, at the moment. Um, but I got this light blue sweatshirt and it's a hooded sweatshirt and it's like the, uh, I don't even know what they call it, but there's like the patches that spell out gap, and the patches on mine are blue, like paisley, uh, like, uh, bandana print, I guess. Um, I really, really like it, and it's lightweight, so if I'm cold, I can throw this on to go to class, but I'm not dying while I'm actually in class. We actually, all three of us girls got, and it's a shirt that says straight out of Houston, and I hate myself that I bought this, but, um, we decided that we needed to pay homage to, um, Houston and how much fun we had all together. Um, I really like the shirt. It was five bucks from a random store um in the outlet mall and we all figured it was cheap and it was good to remind ourselves of our Houston trip. So I went into this store it's called Papaya and I've never actually heard of this store uh, maybe some of you have um but if there are any of you that are just like me and really had no idea um it's kind of the same thing as a Forever 21 um I walked in and I immediately felt like Forever 21 I was in a Forever 21 but this shirt was on extreme clearance and it's really cute it's like this paisley pattern and then in the back is open and it has a tie up by your neck and I actually own a really pretty bralette which you will see in one of the pictures that I put in at the end um 
and when I wore it you could see the bralette sitting on my back and it was super super cute and um, it's also like three quarter length sleeves but it's got the cold shoulder and it's just super cute and like I said it was on sale um, it was on like the Clarence and it was uh, on Clarence for like eight bucks so I was like heck yeah but then when I got up to pay for it it was only like five so good deals the last thing that I got was something that I needed desperately. Um, I am one of those people who is not a purse carrier at all, and I don't really like carrying purses. Um, but So I have a single purse, and it was black, and I got it from Macy's a long time ago, and it was like 20 bucks or something like that, and it was starting to kind of fall apart. So one of my friends is very into purses and stuff, so she told me that she would help me find one at the outlet mall. So that's exactly what we did. We found this gray, and it's kind of like suede um, material, and it's a crossbody because that's the only kind of purses I like. I like to throw them over my shoulder and just be able to walk around and not forget them or feel like I'm carrying something. And so it's just gray, and it's got this little loop on the butt on like this little thing right here then it's magnetic and it zips so it's a good enough size for me to carry my floss my chapstick um advil my wallet and my phone so it's perfect and it was from francesca's and it was only about i think it was like 34 dollars um there's also a zipper back here so there's another little compartment which is nice um, but yeah, I really enjoy it and I immediately, I immediately transferred my stuff from my black purse to this one. She left me. So that was the, um, the limit of my shopping. I, again, I really didn't spend too much. I got quite a bit of deals and plus I just really didn't want to spend too much money because I also had to bring all of the stuff back. So we have a new buddy joining us. She was sitting behind me and then she left me, but now she's back, aren't ya? Um, by the way, this is my puppy who I introduced to you guys in my puppy vlog and she's now three years old. So if you guys want an update, leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely do it for you. She's changed a lot since then, obviously. She's gained about, I don't know, 40 pounds. <laughs> um, so like I was saying though, we got this, um, stuff and it was called Dragon's Breath and they were like little cereal balls and they put dry ice on them and a flavor of your choice and um Alyssa one of my friends really wanted to try it so um we bought some and I got to try a piece it literally it actually tasted like fruity pebbles so that was the extent of our trip on Wednesday and then on Thursday we decided um their dad actually had to work he works at a college in Texas and um his office is downtown Houston, so we got to go back down there because that's where we did our Segway tour on Monday. Um, so we got to go back down there on Thursday and just kind of explore and take pictures. One of my friends is a really good photographer, and so she took some pictures of me for my Instagram. And so these those pictures will be like right after I'm done with this video and at the end of the, at the end. And um, so yeah, we just kind of wandered from both sides. We also went to lunch at Chick-fil-A. We got um, breakfast burritos in the morning. It was great and it was a fun chill day. But I have to say by Friday I was so ready to go home just because I missed my dog and I missed my bed. I really hope that this video, I know this video probably wasn't exactly what I had in mind going into the Texas trip, but I'm happy that I did get skydiving the first vlog, but I really did have a great time with friends. Um, it was the first time that I had ever traveled by myself, and I think it went really well, and I cannot wait to travel again. Um, I know that the next trip that I will be doing is going to Hawaii next year. December with my mom and I cannot wait to vlog and bring you guys with me because Hawaii is one of my dream places to go so I'm excited to bring you guys along and that'll probably be my next vacation but I do not want that to be my next video so I want you guys to comment down below some of your recommendations college related my life related her related um anything because I really enjoy making videos and I'm excited to start again so I will see you guys in my next video. Who knows what it'll be, but I really hope there will be a next one. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Ozzy! You're such a good puppy.
good girl. You keeping me company while I film?